Hello, Kerbal Nauts, and welcome back to Kerbal Alien Odyssey. As you see here, we're following one of our security guards, and he's walking the perimeter of uh, the R&D center. This is part of our stringent security measures to keep the KKK out. That's the key Kerbals on Kerbin, and they believe their philosophy is that there's enough science on Kerbin that we do not need to go to space to get more science. And they've been hampering our efforts to get this extra science. In the last episode, they blew up one of our colleagues' rockets, which meant we had to go out and rescue him from the orbit of Kerbin. And we did rescue him, we did. But now, since we haven't had any more incidents since then from the KKK, I feel we need to go a bit further. And I think there is one way we can go further, and that is to the moon. There is one contract there which we can follow and get ourselves there. So... I'll meet you in the command center where we can accept that contract and we can make it official. Okay guys, here we are, we're in the command center and this is the contract we need to do, which means we need to complete these objectives. And what the object objectives we have to do is go to orbit the man, we get a nice little sum of cash and some respect. We transmit our, or recover scientific data from around the spaceman. Nice little cash. We get a science from that, which is cool. That'll be about on top of the science. Now, I thought those two will do in one mission. That way we can have, a, you know, we can test our rocket on getting there and then say, okay, we need to improve this, improve that. Yada, yada, yada. But landing on the man will be on our second mission. So anyway, we get a total reward of completion of 105,000 whatevers and a respectable respect of 300. So yeah, let's go and accept that. Yes, thank you, Jean. We will be, we'll make you proud. And anyway, I'm gonna go build a rocket and I'll meet you on the launch pad. See you there. Okay, now here we are on the launch pad, and this is the rocket I built. Uh, this is, I've named this the Man Wonder, and I wonder why, because we are wondering about the man. <laughs> anyway, so it's a simple three-stage rocket, well, four-stage if you count the re-entry part. Solid rocket boosters will boost us up to a high enough altitude when we engage our center rocket after these separate trans get these ran solid rocket boosters away from our rocket so we don't collide with them and then we boost up into the atmosphere doing orbital maneuvers the gravity turn etc etc get up in space finish our orbit maneuver with this rocket the LV-909 engine and hey presto we're in orbit set the course of the man get there do an orbit insertion orbit do science and return. Symbols, what could go wrong? Well, let's find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go launch in. Oops, sorry, you just knocked my uh, pop filter with my headset. So, anyway, engage the SAS, full throttle in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, I am engaged the liquid engine with the. Solid root rocket boosters, it would give me a bit of control, but I don't think we need that yet. Let's turn my headset down, I may have to alter, alter the, the um, volumes on my voice compared to the game. Uh, we'll get to that. A hey, standard approach. We still haven't got much control to with these, but I've got a bit capsule. Um, do, 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 do. Capsule talk, what do you call them? Talk wheel, um, <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Gyroscope, that's it, yes, that's the word. Like the satellites up there, they use a gyroscope to orientate the satellites and they can be quite accurate in use because you use stepper motors. Uh, as you can tell, oh, I do not that you can tell. I am into my electronics, that's my trade. It's what I do for a living. And away we go. Okay. 
So I start lift over slowly, we'll do the gravity turn. Okay. Go. Come on, stage. Small rocket we can zoom in there. And watch the old stage drop back down to the atmosphere. To be burnt up. Adding its particles to the atmosphere and spreading the Kerbal love of space. I've no idea why I said that, but there you go. I've gone into the habit of just talking to myself. I'm sort of training myself to do YouTube videos. Don't ever sit talking to myself in the car or even just thinking silly thoughts. In work, some of the guys think I'm going crazy. <laughs> Singing the odd song, just being stupid. I'm not, I'm not having to care what other people think. I, I know. I should be committed. But right now, I'm committed to this mission to the man. I'm talking about man. After we do this orbit insertion, we have to. Yeah, let's do a get up target. Okay, we're getting close and we're losing our maneuver node. We're in orbit of some kind. Oh. We're still in green. Let's have a look at the damage. 92, 76. And if you're wondering, you know, if you're in the the very least interested. Normally you get up to about 100 km orbit. That's the standard thing. You're well away from the atmosphere, you're not going to come back down. It gives you enough time to do a circular radiation burn. But because I had a small rocket, it wasn't going to take much to burn, you know, to get us into orbit. Stable orbit, like that. And, well, the closer to the planet you are, the faster you are travelling. See this little orbital the speed here and you can make great effect of the orbirth effect um, orbirth effect yeah <laughs> and basically the faster you're going the more potential speed you can add to that so basically you're traveling let's say 2800 2288 meters per second you add your extra burn to that you're traveling a lot faster than if you were a bit further out uh, Scott Manley gives you a better example, um, explanation of that, and you can Google it if you want. But I'm not going to. You know, I still don't understand the entire effect of that. Hey, uh, tip. Probably know it. As soon as the moon comes over the horizon, burn in your prograde vector, which is this thing, little little thing. Okay. And you should have an intersection with the man. See, we're getting closer. Um, what have we got here? Find that list. Fiddle with the maneuver node position. Yes, this is sort of a scouting mission. New Mal Kermin is going to go past the man and inspect. Oh, stop that silly voice. <laughs> and he's going to inspect the man. It's go he's going to find out the best landing places. A eh, to best effect. Let's talk about my YouTube channel. Since I can't think of anything else at the moment. Let's get some bit of an See what we got. Night Japan. Yeah, I'll do, will do, will do. No, it won't. Let's go correct this maneuver node and then I'll talk about what I have planned for my channel. Uh, okay. I suppose it's not so much of a 
problem. I can adjust. Let's just put 10 seconds on that. Orientate our rocket for nice cinematic visuals. As we now exit sphere of influence of the Kerbin. Is it the first time that any Kerbal has gone beyond the orbit of Kerbin? Well, not beyond, but to another world, which should be in the under. Now, what was I talking about? Yeah, my YouTube channel. I'm planning on doing some extra videos. I had a dabble in Minecraft. I'm trying to dabble in Kerbal Space Program. I'm trying to work out, should I just talk myself, be myself, or should I play it more like a showmanship? And talk like this, you just talk genuinely, just mess around, just chat about general stuff. And I thought, talk about general stuff, but I'll also add the element of a bit of showmanship and a bit more fun. I'm planning on a new series, which you, um, uh, what is going to call it? Yeah, Solix Kerbal Science. Like, we look at the effects of atmosphere, gravity, and other uh, lithospheres. And we'll also look at the mechanical marvels, which is Kerbal Space Program. And we experiment on things like that. What the atmosphere effects on our rocket, what the gravity effects, how we, and other uh, things like that. So yeah, if anyone wants to give me ideas in the comments below on what I can do in the show. I also plan to do sort of like crazy builds, sort of test the strength of our rockets, and maybe sort of more efficient builds, and maybe even something cool. So yeah, let me know about that. Okay, it's only going to be a short burn to circleize our orbit there, so if I just add a maneuver node. And we'll bring our orbit around just to orbit the man. I think. Ew, dame. Yeah. Anyhow, new Mount Kerman is sure because he needs to do science. He needs to scout for a nice clear landing space. And he can't do that unless he's got a window pointing to the to the man. But he's also here to do science. Now they're wondering the effects the man has on the Kerbal. Whether they can go go out on an EVA and see if he See if the high radiation will cause him to glow. Well, it's definitely caused the uh, materials to go glow. But Numal does not know what the results are until he takes them back to Kirby. Oh. They, they, they have, do have problems with the right click on this. This is 64 bit, by the way. Keep the data there. Yes, I didn't read that one. We'll do a crew report. And now Numal, not sure if it's safe to come out on the EVA. But he's been told to anyway. There's 24 science from that, so. Take the data, take the data, store the experiments. That's so you can do multiple crew reports. And back in. Headbutt the mic again. Now he's scouted this side of the moon for for landing spots but he feels he's too close so trying to get his rocket up to a high altitude as he watches the Kerbin and the sun go behind the man. go behind the man and you see it's really dark out here he turns off his night vision goggles out of contact from Kerbin he decides to just float there Look at the endless vastness of space. He even considers using the rocket to go further beyond Kerbin. 
but known he'd just starve and die to death if life support was added to the game, he decides to go home. So he go, switches back on his night vision goggles and scouts the man from high points. Looking at the large craters, which reminds him really of the large crater which is on Kirby. Particularly the large crater here. He wonders. As he turns to look at it. If the same thing that created these craters. Were the same things that created the crater. Which lies on Kirby. And if its effect will. If there's other things in the Kirby um, solar system. Which could cause this to happen again. Because they know from the science of Kirby that a cataclysm had um, happened. But without it, there would be no Kerbals. So yes, he's scouting out for landing spots for our next mission. Okay, as we get up to the higher altitudes, we observe the last mystery goo we've container we brought with us. We get three signs from that food. Goo feels it right at home. If I can get a click on there, we'll do a crew port here. You look at the surface of the man to try and find good land spice. The inside of the craters might be a best option. Yes, as I said, we were looking for land sites. And an EVA. You record the observation. Uh, some generic gibberish. Let's take all the data anyway and store it all back. Why? Because we can do multiple experiments, but not in the same place. Spamming science is not allowed. Okay. Now as new Mal Kermin is looking at the man, the scientists and the astrophysicists, um, Kerbal, uh, rocket scientists, back at base are wondering what maneuver is best to get him back. What, get him back? That wasn't part of the mission plan. Uh, oh, so they quickly tried to crunch their numbers to find out the best way to retrieve him. They know that thrusting prograde and retrograde with the best use of the fuel he has remaining. So if they do a 195 meter per second burn, but there, they'll come into the atmosphere Kirby. So look at the effect that's given us. That's close enough. Come into the atmosphere. We jettison our pod. We line ourselves up ready. Ooh. for entry into the atmosphere with this suspiciously looking rocket which is going to crash into the top of our Kerbal head. So let's see what happens. Hopefully the atmospheric drag will <laughs> Change the ratio of the. No. Yeah, just missed us. We're coming in hot. But our scientists knew what they were doing. I feel that we've um, done something. Cover transmit from the space around the van. Ah, oh, we haven't recovered the data yet, so. There you go. Let's disengage that. We're. Engage your parachutes. We need to be on our toes here. Rotate our craft. Where are we landing? 
No, that's, I thought we were coming to the crater then and looking over there. But that could have been formed by some craters or some geological activities which we didn't know about. But anyway, we're almost finished with our mission here. We're going to come down, land, we'll plant a flag, I'll recover, show you our stats we got from the mission. I think in the next episode we'll try, try use this data and land on the moon. Okay, I see we have touched down. Roger, Man Wonder. You will go for retrieval of the Man Wonder spacecraft and all its science. Okay, so if we do a crew report here, so where are we? We're on Kirby's grasslands. You've got assessment situation, keep it. Let's do an EVA report. Now, if I jump down here, I won't be able to get back in. It looks precarious, so I want to be planting a flag after all. No, I can't be bothered to <laughs> retrieve them both at the same time. So let's go back to the KSC. And hoo ha! Hoo ha! Or whatever. <laughs> they have. Well, we've got 304 science. And you see, we've achieved our goal. It was not going up because it's probably. Here we have. Retrieved all these parts. I'm not sure where we were 677 kilometers away from KRC, so that gave us 66% value. I'll have to try and remember that. We'll have to try and land a bit closer next time. Although this was this was a test run, you could say, for the real landing. And the crew New Mercury was retrieved successfully. So we have a 7.3 reputation from that in a total of 691 reputation. Still not sure what that will be used for. It, you know, I'm not sure if it's just for getting some parts or whatever, but um, some extra contracts. But I want to look at, before we go, let's just retrieve some See what we can get. Let's get that one. 45 cents, yeah. Now, this is the part. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of the probe. That way, I can do small rockets which can go further to other planets, even to bin mass, perhaps. And I can do multiple missions. Now, well, we've got 214 science. We need 90 science. we got the option to have two of these. So, we've got solar panels here. We've got the mobile processing lab, which will get us extra science permission. But I have the feeling we need docking clamps. So now the pro bodies, some RCS for docking, for precision control. Rocco Max brand decoupler. A really mic macro engine. <laughs> Fuel decks. Ooh. That will make our efficiency of our rockets go up. We can do asparagus staging then. I can show you that. Yes, yes, that'd be brilliant. But I might actually use that. In our um, in my new series that I'm planning to do, in which I haven't even started yet. First episode is going to be our terminal velocity. That's just a sort of testing, see how things go with it. So do let me know how that goes uh, if you watch it. Okay. So I want the photovoltaic panels because we're going to land on the man. We have got the LV909 9, LV909 engine, which doesn't give us electricity. from using the thrust, uh, like the other two rocket engines do. And we got a larger rocket engines here. Larger tanks. Let's 
Lodge. What about Precious Lab? Well, we'll keep that for another day. Um, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Okay, balls to it. I'm gonna go for this one. I want that fuel duct. I don't care what anyone says, I want that fuel duct. That is going to go into our box. And I'll see you next time. In Kerbalinian Odyssey. Where we will be going to the man. Oh, you can't zoom in any further than that. Bye. Oh yes, on a, on a, on a side note, please leave some comments. Tell me how I'm doing, or what do you think else than that, and let me know what I can do to improve or whatever. And the little like button there helps, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Oh yes, the contract. We did cut the signs. See you next time.